Okay, so this is basically, I'm going to be covering the normal sinus rhythm, or EKG. Um, and this is all happening multiple times, like over the course of time. So this is basically a fraction of a second each time that you see here. So the first part is preload. So this is where blood is coming into the ventricles. So as you can see, there's passive ventricular filling. So basically that's just blood filling the ventricles. And then here we have the P wave, and this is where the atriums become depolarized. And then after this happens, right here at the end of this line, this is where atrial ejection happens. So the blood that's in the atrium is now going out. And sometime during this, after this, S1 will happen. And that's basically, so sound one. So when doctors are like listening to your heartbeat, they're listening for a couple of sounds. So S1 is the sound of the atrium and the ventricles closing that like valve so that no blood rushes back into the valve that it was just in. And then next we have the QRS wave. So this is basically where the ventricles now are depolarizing and there's no force yet to the eject the blood. But as you can see, there's a rise in pressure here and this is the isovolumetric contraction. So if you think about like you have say arbitrarily like 50 milliliters in a box and then you can start condensing that the volume doesn't change, but the pressure inside does. And eventually that'll build so much to where the blood will rush out of those, and it'll kind of flow the valves open. And so after that happens, we have ventricular ejection. So that's basically the ventricles are now ejecting into the rest of the body and up the aorta and everything. And so then the T wave happens, which is where the ventricles are kind of repolarizing and getting ready for this next phase. And then during this, like shortly after this T wave here, you have the aortic and the pulmonary valve closing once again to just prevent the backflow of blood. Okay, so I had said earlier that doctors were listening for a couple of sounds. So the atrium and the ventricular valves closing and then the aortic and pulmonary valves closing. A couple of other sounds can be heard in certain cases. So sound three, so this takes place after the first and second one. What they'll hear is basically like a knocking type sound. But if they hear a third sound, it's usually found in people who have congestive heart failure. And then the fourth sound that you may hear, uh, it's, it's evidence is found usually in people with hypertension. So it basically just sounds kind of like a vibration of everything. So it's ventricular, hyper, ventricular hypertrophy, sorry, or found in hypertension.